Katie Mintz, and welcome to the Sun Current Today daily webcast, bringing you the latest news for Apple Valley, Burnsville, Egan, Lakeville, and Rosemount. The FBI is seeking information in the Friday evening robbery of a Wells Fargo bank in Egan. According to the Minneapolis office of the FBI, a man entered the bank at about 5.45 p.m. and demanded cash from a teller while threatening a handgun. He placed the cash into a dark colored shoulder bag with Bethel University embroidered on it. He fled the bank on foot in an unknown direction. Police don't know if the robber has any connection to the St. Paul Christian College. The robber is described as a white male in his mid to late 20s, 5 foot 1 to 5 foot 3 inches tall with a medium build. He wore a gray knit hat with a dark stripe, dark blue jacket with gray fleece lining, dark t-shirt, blue jeans, and amber lens sunglasses. A reward is being offered for information leading to the arrest and indictment of the robber. Anyone with information should contact the FBI at 612-376-3200 or the Egan Police Department at 651-675-5700. An Apple Valley mom faces charges for allegedly drinking vodka while driving with her 10-year-old child in the car. Sherry Lynn Delich, age 44, was charged Thursday by Dakota County District Court summons with three gross misdemeanors, second-degree refusal to submit to testing, second-degree driving while impaired, and child endangerment stemming from the December 5th incident. According to a criminal complaint, Delich told Burnsville Police Department officers she was on her way to Mystic Lake Casino after being stopped driving erratically on southbound Interstate 35E around 8 p.m. December 5th. During the traffic stop, officers allegedly noticed Delich smelled strongly of alcohol and had bloodshot and watery eyes. Delich told officers she had one vodka drink, and when asked how large the drink was, she picked up a roughly 20 to 32 ounce glass from inside the vehicle. The cup contained a few ice cubes and a dark colored liquid that smelled like alcohol, according to the complaint. Delich failed a series of field sobriety tests and refused to submit a breath test. She faces up to a year in jail and a $3,000 fine on each of the three counts. Your MyTeeWeed.com forecast for tomorrow is partly cloudy with highs around 10 and lows around 5 below. For Sun Current, I'm Katie Mintz. We'll see you tomorrow.